Hello people of the interwebs and welcome back to my weird little corner of YouTube. Here on my channel we do and talk about things and stuff. Things and stuff may include clothes, hair, makeup, tattoos, cats, serial killers, horror films, vlogs and DIY projects. So if you like the sound of that, maybe consider sticking around. <laughs> but yeah, please do consider subscribing if you like my content. I know I've been a bit absent on YouTube lately, but I'm working on getting back to it. It's just life's been a bit crazy. So yeah, if you would like to support my tiny channel and be part of our little community here, then please consider subscribing. The thanks. <laughs> so in today's video, I have a sheen haul. Yay! I... <clears throat> don't have all the items here because a lot of them are for the cats. I will of course show you the items but they are using it, well, some of them anyway. So it's a lot of cat stuff, quite a few clothing items, so without me rambling on too much let's just get into it. So to start with I thought I would show you all the cat stuff slash household stuff. So first of all, I ordered some bowls for the cats because I prefer them to eat from an elevated end, um, like a bowl that's not sitting like this. It's a little bit tilted because it's easier for them and it's better on their joints. So I've got these ones. This is for Dougal because obviously this is a single one. Just open it so bear with. There we go. So it's just kitty cat this way. And it's like standing on this. I put it on backwards. I'm so good at this. Yeah, so basically you have a stand. That's obviously it should go this way. And then there we go. So it's elevated for him and it's a little bit tilted as well. So this is for Dougal. I also got doubles for Simba and Scar because they eat together and the double ones aren't kitty catties. They look like bears because they for dogs because they were like half the price of the cat ones. And I was like, hell yeah, they're not going to be like, hey, Caron, this is not a cat. Caron, it's a dog. I don't want to eat from this. They won't say that. So that's what I got for them. I'm really happy with them. It's easy to wash because it's easy to remove from the little like stand. So yeah, for the price, I'm really happy. And I hope they are too. Before we go on to the next item, I would just like to say that if you like cats, please do not just put in cat on Sheen because you will spend a lot of money because that's what I did. So the next item is this black cat. It's like a bath mat, but I wouldn't use it for bath because I don't think that it's absorbent enough. How cute is this. I absolutely love it. I don't know where it's gonna go yet, but I just absolutely love it. I think I think it's so cute. I don't know how much it was. I will put everything in the description so you will find them. But yeah, absolutely love this. It's so cute. It's not like the best quality. It's quite thin. But I'll probably like, I think maybe like in the downstairs loo, you know, just in front of Lou and stuff like that, or in front of one of their litter trays. Just think it will, it, it looks really cute. So yeah really happy with this. Next up, I think this is the last homeware stuff and then we're off to clothing. But first of all, let me show you these cushion covers. I got them for the sofa downstairs. I still need to buy some cushions. They are the same size as these ones I got earlier. This is for the Gothis, obviously. I thought these would be really cute in the lounge because obviously the kitty gets spent a lot of time and I think this is just so cute look at it and it's like really nice and soft so yeah these are I got two of these for the lounge for the sofa downstairs because I think this would be really cute there so yay I just need to pop to like B&M Home Bargains one of those to um grab a cushion that fits into this so yay So, I have tried everything on and now I'm sweating. <laughs> so, 
Well, it is definitely a mixed bag, so um, let's get into it, I guess. So first off, I tried on this blouse. Well, they call it a um, shirt. It's like mermaid on it and other bits like stars and dots and stuff like that. And I think it was in their vintage range. And so I'm imagining myself, you know, wearing that shirt with like big hair and all the rockabilly style. I think I really like the black one. Spoiler, I might have got it in a different color as well. It fits nicely. I got the 2XL, it fits well. Um, around my hip, it's a little, eh, but I don't think I would wear it like down all the way. I would probably just, as you can see in the clip as well, I would just like tie up and in that way, it looks really nice. I like it. Um, the material isn't like amazing, but it's from Shein um, and it's not horrible either. So I guess it wouldn't be something I would wear every day, but it would be something that I would I only feel comfortable and nice in if I went to like a gig or something like that. So yeah, I think that's a keeper. What do you guys think? Next up, as I said in my spoiler, <laughs> it's the exact same blouse, shirt, whatever you want to call it, but it's in this light pink. Um, I don't know. I mean, anything I ever see in one colour and then black, I would struggle to find an item of clothing that I prefer in the colour than to, to the black. So, <laughs> I just wanted to see what it's like, because I saw, oh my god, they got it in pink, maybe, yeah, I tried and I failed in liking a different colour rather than black. <laughs> so, it fits the same, although the pink felt a little tighter around my um, hips for some reason. I don't know, maybe it's just placebo because I really don't like it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't, and also like, you know how the material is kind of folded inwards and the, on the pink one, it was just really floppy. So I don't think I'm gonna keep the pink one um, because just the black is better and I can wear it with a lot more things. So the black one, pink is nice as well just not for me. The next item I tried on was a pair of leggings um, with like a mesh insert on the thighs. I kind of liked it to be honest. I don't know how see-through it is. I haven't watched the um, footage yet. So maybe whilst I'm editing I'll be like damn it looks the same on my arms that it looks on my thighs where the, <laughs> where the mesh is because some of the leggings are just horribly see-through. So I don't know yet whether I'm keeping it. I liked the fit of it and it felt comfortable. It's not the best material. Again, it's not um, cotton. So if you're looking for like cotton leggings, this ain't, it, this ain't for you. Um, but I liked it. I think it was comfy and I think it looked nice. I kind of like it, but then I maybe that might be too big of an insert. I don't know. I think it's something I'll have to definitely watch the footage of to decide whether I want to keep it or not. So please do let me know what you think because I am really undecided. Undecisive? Indecisive? That's the word I'm looking for. I just cannot English anymore. I think I need a coffee. Like now. So the next item, you know when you really, 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 really like an item on the website and you buy it and you try it on and it's a tragic comedy because it's tra tragic that you can't wear it because it looks so bad, but also it fits you in a way that it's too funny. So this is the leggings with the pentagram detail on each thigh and just nope, that's all I can say. Basically. I tried it on and the leggings material is more stretchy than the straps that make the pentagram and my uh, thighs were just like <laughs> flopping out each uh, little hole of the pentagram and I was just like boingy boingy boingy. It was, it was not a good look. It was fun to wear but it's not a good look unfortunately so that's definitely not staying. 1 million percent not staying. Maybe if you're like a size 8 or you have smaller thighs or you have very muscular thighs, I don't know. Or maybe you have to size up, but if I sized up then it would have been too big around the tummy, so I'm not really sure what could have saved this situation 
But it was fun. It was fun to be boinging my own thighs, I guess. <laughs> As I said, a tragic comedy. Next up, I tried, I got two dresses. Both of them are bodycon. One of them, the first one is a deep red or like wine color dress made of mm, velvet. There you go, velvet. A red velvet dress with like that neckline scoop. I don't know, it's just like bunched here. I kind of like this. I think I might keep it because I have a dress in a similar colour, but I think that's too big now. You know, I just, I like my uh, bodycon stuff to be properly tight. And that dress is a bit too big now, so I'm probably going to put that on Vinted and keep this one instead. So keep an eye out for my Vinted video. It is coming, I promise. I promise eventually welcome so yeah i really like this one i think it's really nice ignore the color of my bra that i'm wearing it's like teal so it's not really fitting in their dress but yeah i really like their dress so i think that's a thumbs up from me do let me know what you think but i will most likely keep it the next dress was the black one it's got like a corset detail i don't know how much you'll be able to see it on the footage but it's got like it looks like it's gone like um um what is it like the bra part it doesn't it's just it's sewn that way and then you can make it either longer or shorter with those strings and they got one string on each side and it's kind of nice but i feel like when i was taking off again i haven't seen the footage yet but when i was taking it off and i could see the light through it i was like oh no the people of youtube is are getting really lucky today <laughs> this one because damn you might be able to see everything if it's really bad obviously i would have probably put something over it like a peach or something um so yeah no i don't think so because it's really very very see-through and i have a couple of similar dresses with the you know the longer shorter option toggle things and yeah i think it's just it would have been an extra one but it's just i've got enough already so yeah no even now i'm not sure that this last part will make it to youtube because i'm not monetized okay but if i was this would be what demonetized me <laughs> basically i bought that top the famous one with the cross and the boobs and the boobs hanging out yeah 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 all right you'll see um surprisingly it fit really nice i think i got it in a 1xl because i wanted it to be kind of holding my boobs because of no bra obviously um it felt surprisingly secure just to stay inside and never leave the house and not move because then I would know that it's definitely not going to just snip slip me and fall out. Um, I don't think I would ever like go out in it because you have a drink, you're not looking out, nip slip, biggie, central, everywhere. No, I think I'm too old for this shit. But I understand why people like it, like it's quite comfortable. It was, it felt quite secure, as I said, if I didn't drink and just, it's just, as a piece of clothing, it's comfortable. For me, what it looks like isn't comfortable because I feel like that people would just be staying at my boobs and I don't, I wouldn't want that. So, um, as I said, it's not uncomfortable and it fitted really well. So I understand why people like it. It's just not for me. Yeah, I'll just put it in the video told you it's a lucky day for you guys <laughs> so this was my Shein haul today i really hope that you enjoyed it please let me know which one was your favorite piece in the comment section below if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more of my face then you know what to do click on that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a new update from me also, you can follow me on Instagram for more daily stuff, mostly cat and food related. 
best kind of content, isn't it really? <laughs> so yeah, my Instagram is miss.anthrope, you can find me there. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this guys. And um, thank you so much for watching again. And I shall see you very soon. Bye.